I've always said thank you to that cop because uh, he kicked me straight to the Black Panther Party. Was Mumia Abu Jamal in the new documentary Long Distance Revolutionary, a journey with Mumia Abu Jamal that is opening around the country starting today? Um, the producer, writer, director of the film, Steve Vittoria, joins us, as well as the co producer, Noel Hanrahan, of the Prison Radio Project. We welcome you both to Democracy Now! Okay. These last few minutes, um, you just heard Mumia on the phone directly from prison, but you just visited him yesterday, Steve. I was there with him yesterday. It was another one of our extraordinary visits together. Um, I know it's hard to believe that you go to a, you know, maximum security prison and when he was on death row and you have a good time. It's really hard. It's not a good time for Mumia, but he makes it a good time. Um, what we've tried to do with the film is, is capture Mumia's personality, the compassion, the love that um, Mumia has for people, because ultimately I think that's what true revolutionaries, that's where they come from. They come from a place of love. Um, I made the film because, you know, you wake up in a country, Amy, and you realize that the country is being run by mass murderers, economic rapists, and general run-of-the-mill psychopaths. So I started to look for some sanity. And for me, I found sanity in a dark, dank hole on death row in Pennsylvania. Um, I had been a longtime reader of Mumia's material, listening to the incredible broadcast that you guys have broadcast, and my partner, Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio, has a Herculean task, gotten his voice out all over the world. Um, I wanted to offer some sanity. You know, John Pilger says that we have made the unthinkable normal in this world, and the normal unthinkable. Um, I wanted to offer um, a ray of hope and some sanity that Mumia, I think, offers all of us. You know, the, the people in this country have been offered war and violence and no health care and, you know, horrific uh, contribution to the death of the planet. Um, Mumia offers the opposite of that. And people ask me, they say, you know, well, how do you make a film about someone so radical? I don't think Mumia is radical at all. What I find radical are people that can lob cruise missiles into neighborhoods. Um, so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying from, to offer sanity. From McGovern, subject of one of your films, to Mumia Abu Jamal, what's the trajectory? Uh, it's a huge trajectory. Uh, George, as you know, was a. Um, he was sort of the his former own senator, former presidential candidate, George McGovern. Um, he was uh, he was a revolutionary within the system. I don't know if that can ever work. George tried and he made some changes, but uh, real change comes from outside the system, and I think that Mumia is a bright, shining example of that. Noel Hanrahan, you have uh, been making possible the broadcast of Mumia Abu Jamal's life for many years, of his voice from prison, from death row, which. As uh, Steve said, is a Herculean task. We've run some of his commentaries. Um, why this film is important? It doesn't focus on his case, actually. The state has always tried to minimize what Mumia means to the movements and also as Mumia as the journalist. And what we do is show you why his voice is important. And it deconstructs the right wing narrative of that. If Mumia Abu Jamal had been on the streets, had been able to be a reporter for the last 30 years, we may not be in this situation. The suppression of his voice, I believe, is directly related to what he has to say. And prison radio humanizes prisoners. It brings prisoners' voices into the public debate and dialogue. I trust that this country needs that information and that we can make better decisions if we hear these people. Mumia happens to be an extraordinary journalist reporting from an extraordinary place, and he demands to be into the public debate and dialogue. The film opens today in New York City. It's at Cinema Village and will run through the weekend, right through Super Bowl Sunday, um, and around the country, Steve? Yes. Uh, we start in New York City. We go to Seattle. We go to Miami. We go to New Orleans, and then we open in Los Angeles, uh, my new hometown, on uh, March 1st, uh, and on from there. So it's uh, New York is our launch, and it's really, really important to the success of the film. That's Cinema Village here in New York and in Los Angeles uh, in March. It will be at the Beverly Hills Lemley. This is Democracy Now! I want to thank you both for being with us. Thank Steve you. Victoria director, producer, writer of the film, um, Long Distance Revolutionary, A Journey with Mumia Abu-Jamal. Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio co-produced this film.